Justin Dion here with Kane Center for the Arts. First, let me start by sharing our hopes that you and your families are well during these unprecedented times. On behalf of our board and staff, I'm excited to bring some good news. Our team, consisting of volunteers from our board of directors, donors, and leadership from the town of Cornelius, have spent the last two and a half years working with designers and contractors with input from the public and our donors to bring about the final design of the center. And today, we're happy to share them with you. Without further ado, let's jump in. Kane Center for the Arts is designed to be a centerpiece for downtown Cornelius, also known as Old Town. In this rendering, we've also included the design and future vision for the Catawba Avenue Festival Street concept. The site plan includes two major areas for public use and programming opportunities. The first of these is the large outdoor plaza. This 7,500 square foot plaza built with pavers specifically designed for a campaign where you can sponsor a paver and personalize it in honor of your family or loved ones is listed here. Not included in this rendering is a large public art sculpture that will sit on the northeast corner of the site. Programming of the plaza area will include a variety of uses such as public celebrations, festivals, art in the park, farmer's market, and private events. It could also be just a great place to have a lunch or sip a cup of coffee while waiting for your class to start. Notice the walkway along the east side of the property taking you down to the Oak Street Mill shops. You could also decide to take a winding walkway along the western side of the plaza to go to the public park and green space. This approximately 15,000 square foot public park and green space will provide a wonderful public area for community events and celebrations. In this rendering, you will notice an event which could be a second Friday or Taba Walk. A band is playing on the performance area and food trucks line the drive. The park will also have the capacity to host concerts, theater on the green, and more. As we enter into Old Town Cornelius from exit 28, our building will serve as a focal point to the town center. It has a beautiful masonry facade to echo past warehouse style buildings. A large wall of windows that highlights the upstairs dance studio and downstairs art classroom for the activity there. There's also a large rolling digital marquee at the entryway that will list all upcoming events. On entrance into the lobby of the Kane Center, you will notice immediately the reception area named by Equesta Bank. The reception area will serve as our box office and also where you can find out information regarding upcoming classes and events at the center. The reception desk will be constructed from reclaimed wood from the historic cotton gin that's currently on the site today. The two-story lobby is enclosed on three sides by glass, which will allow for all activity to show the outside public. While the lobby serves as a great public gathering space and place to enjoy time while awaiting events, it can also serve as a place for a great private event or networking gatherings. Thank you all again for your continued support and excitement for this project. We are excited to continue these reveals over the coming weeks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and social media outlets to have a first look at these. Also, I will take a second to remind you that we are still in our campaign to build the Kane Center for the Arts. You can still make a pledge today at www.kanearts.org. 